Welcome back to GoMath. This is Grade 4, Lesson 3, Multiply Two-Digit Numbers, Lesson 3.7, Problem Solving, Multiply by Two-Digit Numbers. All right, let's get into Lesson 3.7. Our essential question is, how can you use the strategy Draw a Diagram to solve multi-step multiplication problems? Well, let's unlock the problem. During the, during the two 2010 great backyard bird count. An average of 42 bald eagles were counted in each of 20 locations throughout Alaska. In 2009, an average of 32 bald eagles were counted in each of the 26 locations throughout Alaska. Based on this data, how many more eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? Well, use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. What do I need to find out? I need to find how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009. What information do I need to use? In 2010, 20 locations counted an average of 42 bald eagles each. In 2009, 26 locations counted an average of 32 bald eagles each. How will I use the information? I can solve simpler problems. Find the number of bald eagles counted in 2010 find the number of bald eagles counted in 2009, then draw a bar model to compare the 2010 count to the 2009 count. Well, let's solve the problem. First, find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2010. 42 times 20 equals 840 bald eagles counted in 2010. Next, Next, find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2009. 32 times 26 equals 832 bald eagles counted in 2009. Last, draw a bar model. I need to subtract 840 bald eagles in 2010, 832 bald eagles in 2009, and this is what I'm trying to find out. 840 minus 832 is 8. So there are 8 more bald eagles counted in 2010 than in, 20, in, to, than in 2009. Let's try another problem before you do some on your own. Prescott Valley, Arizona reported a total number, a uh, total of 29 morning doves in the great backyard bird count. Mesa, Arizona reported 20 times as many morning doves as Prescott Valley. If Chandler reported a total of 760 morning doves, how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa? Well, let's read the problem. What do I need to find? I need to find how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler, Arizona than in Mesa, Arizona. What information do I need? Well, Prescott Valley reported 29 morning doves. Mesa reported 20 times as many as Prescott Valley. And Chandler reported 760 morning doves. How will I use the inf information? I can solve simpler problems. Find the number of doves reported in Mesa. Then draw a bar model to compare the number of morning doves reported in Mesa than reported in Chandler. All right, solve the problem. First, find the number of doves reported in Mesa. Will it be 29 times 20 equals 580 morning doves in Mesa? Then draw a bar model to find how many more doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa. And I need, I'm going to need to subtract them. There were 760 morning doves in Chandler. There were 580 morning doves in Mesa. And this is what I'm trying to find out. 760 minus 580 equals 180. So there were 180 more morning doves reported in Chandler, Arizona than in Mesa, Arizona.
Is your answer reasonable? Explain. Well, yes, it is. If I round 760 to 800 and 580 to 600 and then subtract the difference is close to uh, the difference is 200, and 180 is close to 200. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and complete pages 185 and 186. Pause the video. When you've completed, come back and check your answers. Let's look at the share and show. Now, boys and girls, if you missed anything here, you're going to need to go back and redo the problem. All right. It says an average of 74 reports with bird counts were turned in in each day in June. An average of 89 were turned in each day in July. How many reports were turned in for both months? Now, there's a hint. 30 days in June and 31 days in July. So first. 30 times 74 for how many were in June? 31 times 89, how many are in July? Add the products and you get 4,979. All right. It says, what if an average of 98 reports were turned in each day for the month of June? How many reports were turned in for June? Describe how your answer for June would be different. Well, there would be 2,940 reports. 98 minus 74 is 24. So there would be 30 times 24 or 720 reports. All right, let's look at number three. There are 48 crayons in a box. There are 12 boxes in a, in a carton. Mr. Johnson orders six cartons of crayons for the school. How many crayons did he get? Well, he's going to go 12 times 6, and then he's going to take that number and multiply it by 48 to get this number here. 12 times 6, take that product and multiply it by 48 to get that number. All right. Each of five bird watchers reported seeing 15 rosette spoonbills in a day. If they each reported seeing the same number of spoonbills over 14 days, how many would be reported? Well, um, they saw 15 um, each day over a 14 days. So it would be 15 times 14, and you'd get 1,050. Now let's look at number five. On each of Maggie's bird watching trips, she has seen at least 24 birds. If she has taken four of these trips each year over the past 16 years, at least how many birds has Maggie seen? Well, we would take the 16, 16 years times four, all right? That would be 64. Multiply that by 24, and we'd get 1,536. So what we're trying to find out is um, how many trips she's had. So 16 times 4 is going to tell us how many trips she's had. She's had 64. And in the 64 trips, she's seen 24 birds. So now multiply them, and you get 1,536. All right, let's look at number 6. There are 12 inches and a foot. In September, Mrs. Harris ordered 32 feet of ribbon for the cl uh, craft clubs. In January, she orders 9 feet left. less. How many inches of ribbon does Mrs. Harris order? Explain how you found your answer. Well, she ordered 660 inches. 9 less of 32 is 23. So I added 22 plus 32 equals 55. Then I multiplied it by 12 to get 660. All right, for number seven, I had to use this clue, and my answer is 1,400, or 14,148, <laughs> this is an address, so you read it differently, 14827 Cypress Street. Okay, if you did not get that answer, go back and look at it again, all right? 
A school is adding four rows of seats to the auditorium. There are seven seats in each row. Each new seat costs $99. What is the total cost for the new seats? Show your work. Well, you would say four times seven times 99. Four times seven is 28 times 99 is $2,772. Okay, boys and girls, if you missed something on here and you're in my class, you need to contact me so that um, I can help you uh, make sense of what um, you did wrong. Okay, here's your practice and homework for lesson 3.7. My class, make sure you take a snapshot of it, get it into me so I can grade it and get it into the grade book. This is the end of lesson 3.7 and lesson three. You will have your test if you're in my class um, in the next couple of days. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link.